Hi, I'm Kirby with Schaefer's and today I'm in the backyard cooking on a Traeger Little Tex Elite. Uh, Traeger is the leader in pellet grill cooking. And if you're not familiar with pellet grill cooking, I'll give you a little introduction on it. What you cook on is just little wood pellets. Uh, that's your flavor and your fuel. The Traegers allow you to do smoking uh, and grilling on there as well. They also let you do baking, do roasting, uh, because of the variety of temperatures you can do in there. Uh, and you can cook things in these that you wouldn't normally think of to do in a grill. Of course, you can do your regular, your burgers, your steak, your ribs, your chicken, uh, but you can also do pizza, you can do cookies, you can do anything you could bake in an oven, you could bake in here and get the good wood-fired flavor. What Traegers do is they've got an auger that feeds the pellets into the cooking chamber at the rate it needs to maintain the temperature you set on it. You can set it to smoke to do your low smoking, and depending upon the grill you have, some have a basic thermostat of smoke, medium, and high. Uh, some have a thermostat where you can have all the temperatures in between. So you're not having to worry about feeding charcoal, feeding logs, or anything like that, or is there enough gas in the tank to finish this cook for all the people that are here today. You put your pellets in the hopper, and you're good to go, whether it's a short cook or a long cook. The best thing to know about Traeger is it's easy, uh, and you get great results. Uh, a lot of people are busy, don't have time to go out and fire up the grill, get things started, wait a half hour until it's up to temp. Some people will come home for lunch, season some ribs, get the Traeger ready, put them on there, go back to work. When you get home that night from work, you take the ribs off and you eat dinner. So you don't have to worry about, is the temperature okay? Do I have to add any fuel? As long as you got enough pellets in that hopper, you have it set on that temperature, there's nothing more you have to do to it, and that's great. You can get great quality, I'll even say competition quality barbecue, because Traegers are very popular on the competition circuit. Uh, with the Traegers, you come out, now you turn the dial to the smoke setting. I give that five minutes. Uh, when you start to see the smoke roll out of there, turn the dial to the temperature that you want. And that's it. Uh, wait about five minutes, so it'll be to that temperature, and you can tell because it has an electronic readout on the models with the electronic thermostat. What Traeger does is it starts the fire down on the bottom of the grill in a fire pot, uh, and it has a couple deflectors that create a convection action inside the grill. So it cooks evenly side to side, front to back, and top to bottom. It's so even you don't even have to flip your food. Uh, you can if you want to, if you want the grill marks, but if you just want to put it in there and forget about it and come back when it's done, Traeger is perfect for that. Traeger has several different sizes, starting from the little model called the Junior at 399 Good starter cooker, also good if you're just a couple people in the household and you want to get some good flavor, but you don't need a big cooker. Uh, on up to some medium sizes with the Little Tex and Little Tex Elite. Then they have some larger sizes, the Select, the Texas, even some competition size rigs. Whatever your cooking demands are, Traeger has the cooker and the size that's right for you. What's great about Traeger's is no matter what the size, all the parts and how it works are the same. Uh, the same auger, the same feeding system, uh, same fire pot, so you're going to get the same performance across the board. Just get the size that's going to suit your cooking needs. Another great thing is different flavors. Uh, charcoal, you have charcoal flavor. Gas, you have no flavor. Uh, with Traeger, you have eight different woods you can pick from. Uh, hickory and mesquite are obviously very popular, but you can also do apple, cherry, uh, oak, maple, pecan, and alder. Uh, the pellets are 99% efficient, so your ash is very, very little. And to kind of get an idea of how many pellets you'll need, uh, they burn at a rate of about a pound an hour if you're doing smoke in low temperature settings. Uh, they'll burn at a rate of about two pounds an hour if you're grilling and doing the high temperatures. So it'll kind of give you an idea. If you're doing smoking, you can go for 20 hours on a bag. Uh, very few people are going to run that long. Uh, if you're grilling and having people over, you have about 10 hours on a bag. So it's going to last you a long time. So you don't have to worry about running out unless your hopper is really low. Just go get another bag, fill it up. And make sure that you leave the cover on the hopper uh, because you don't want the pellets getting wet. It'll basically turn to sawdust or mush and it can kind of jam up and block up your auger system. So make sure it's well covered and out of the elements. Another part with the great uh, ease of clean uh, is they have uh, a drip tray in there where all the grease will run on and run off into a little drip bucket. So you're not having to take the thing apart and dig out parts of it uh, that have got off to the side and charred up. It's all gonna run out, drop into a bucket. You clean that bucket out and you're done. One of the big reasons we brought in Traeger is consumer demand. Uh, talk to anybody that owns a Traeger. They will own nothing else. 
and they absolutely swear by it. How easy it is to use, how good the food tastes. Uh, so we had enough people calling in asking us if we had Traeger, if we were going to get Traeger. Um, the, the demand for it is just fantastic. Uh, read reviews on it. Like I said, talk to people that own one. They won't own anything else. They absolutely swear by it. Uh, so you really get you know, a terrific grill that does so much more. Uh, as Traeger says, stop grilling and start Traegering. That's their motto, that's what they stand by, and people that have the Traegers really believe that. You can do so much with them, you can do so much more uh, than you can on a typical grill. So come in the store, uh, take a look at them and pick out the one that's right for you, and go home and don't grill, start Traegering. Schaefer's, now shop online at SchaeferstV.com. Traeger versus Rectech. Pellet grills. They are like magic. They are actually a barbecue trick in and of themselves because they cook with real wood and create real great smoke flavor. And I'm loving this Traeger. Okay, this is the first firing. Take a look at this. Look real close. It's spinning out the pellets right into the hopper in there, or from the hopper to the fire pot. And it just keeps spitting them out there. There's a little ember that's going to get red hot and start smoking these things in just a second. Let's watch. And that fire pot gets really hot. Upwards over 400 degrees, so this thing can really do some baking if you're uh, into really cooking with some higher heat. It's a great piece of equipment. The Traeger grill works to perfection, and the, it is kind of a trick in and of itself, a barbecue trick, because it is uh, cooking with wood and electricity, but it does cook with wood, so it passes the mustard in different barbecue competitions. It's really fantastic. Dan Kasky here, name of your cook team? Legyard Barbecue Company. All right, so what's the favorite thing that you, what's the trick you think in, in these, uh, in the uh, Traeger grills? Well, one of the things, I'm firing it up right now, you see the smoke starting to come up of it, so it definitely is a smoker. I've got it on the smoke setting, and, and once my smoke starts to come out, I, I can close it up, and reliably, now that I've set to my temperature, I give it about 15 minutes, go rub my butt, and I bring it on, and it's ready to smoke barbecue. I can leave it on there, never have to change anything. I usually wrap my butts kind of a crutch, but with this, because of the grease draining system, no need. I can leave it on here the whole cook until it's ready to be perfect pulled pork. What pellets do you use? So, um, Traeger has a, a, a large line of them. I, I'm a local supplier that I'm able to get it from pretty easily. And uh, Traeger also sends me some coupons quite often, so that's nice. Uh, you know, if I was going to do my butts, um, I, I take a mixture of hickory and uh, apple or even maple. I like maple a lot. Um, they, they make a great mesquite if you do any beef. Uh, I like to stick kind of more traditional with the mesquite on beef. Um, and uh, uh, as I said, I got maple. Um, so you'll mix them like a recipe almost. That's correct. And so I actually try to, in my mind, layer them. Uh, I know through the auger it pulls them through, but uh, I like to start. Uh, you know, with some hickory, maybe finish with a fruit rud. They actually have a pecan that is wonderful as well. It's kind of a universal one. And the pecan, I think, is also another, you asked about smoke ring. Uh, one tip that you might get a little more dark if you want that color, uh, throw the pecan in there. It's also great for high heat cooking. I can finish a butt, throw some chicken on here. Uh, I have a multi-rack in here, so I can throw a couple racks of ribs or chicken on. Uh, I can crank that heat if I want to do something, sear something quick. We like bacon pops. Uh, cook them at 325. Again, dial the temperature. It's easy enough. I can call the wife, start it up, tell her to throw something on the grill, and she's involved. So we love Traeger Grills. It's doing great for us. What's your favorite uh, meat to do on there? Chicken. By far, uh, this is a chicken cooker. Uh, we, 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 in fact, we use competition chicken cooker. Backyard chicken is, is wonderful. Um, and it's, it, you know, anything that you uh, want easy control. Um, you know, charcoal's great, but it takes me a while to get everything set up and, and I, I always have to empty the bag and stuff. This, I just make sure my hopper's full, put in my favorite flavor, and uh, I, can, I can get what I want out of it pretty easily. Give me the hashtag. Hashtag time to barbecue. Leg yard barbecue.
Love the Traeger. If you want to find out more about the Rec Tech, I know Ballistic Barbecue, also Amazing Ribs, does uh, some pretty detailed things with the Rec Tech. But I love the Traeger, and it comes so easy to set up. If you want to find out more about a Traeger, get uh, some details and sales information and great pricing, or even pricing on the pellets that go into it, head over to the website. It's www.barbecuetricks.com. Now that I have my own Traeger wood pellet barbecue grill, it's easy to grill steaks, smoke meats, fish, even bake a pizza. I want to show you more details about the grill itself. It's a grill, a smoker, and a convection oven all in one. For hundreds of years, wood was the fuel that everybody used to cook their food. But getting consistent temperature was labor intensive and inconvenient. When propane and charcoal were invented, cooking became more convenient, but when it came to taste, let's just say that these man-made fuels simply did not make things better. They couldn't compete with the natural flavor that you get from burning hardwood like hickory or mesquite. Fortunately for us, Traeger wood pellet grills solved the temperature control issues of cooking with wood, so now it's even more convenient to use hardwood than propane or charcoal. But the best part is the return of that amazing taste that can only come from burning hardwood. Let's start with the wood pellets that are used to fuel the fire. In this hopper are pellets made from 100% hardwood sawdust. These pellets are the source of both fuel and flavor in your Traeger barbecue. The hardwood pellets are made in Traeger pellet mills specifically for Traeger grills. They burn efficiently and clean. Traeger hardwood cooking pellets are certified food grade and are manufactured without fillers, binders, or soft woods. Just pure hardwood goodness. At the bottom of this hopper is an auger that moves the pellets slowly from the storage hopper to the fire pot where the pellets are burned. The auger works in conjunction with the temperature controller to deliver the right amount of pellets into the fire pot. When more heat is needed, the auger simply delivers more pellets to increase the temperature. Traeger also features an auto start system that is safe and simple. Just turn the controller to the smoke setting and open the lid. The grill will do the rest. The fire is actually started by an electrically heated rod called a hot rod. The igniter rod glows red hot for the first few minutes of operation, just long enough to ignite the pellets and start the fire. Your Traeger grill requires a standard plug outlet to operate the igniter rod, the auger, and the fan. 300 watts of power is required for the first four minutes of operation, but once the fire is lit, your Traeger will only require about 50 watts of power for the remainder of cooking time. That's less electricity than a 50 watt light bulb. One of the best features of the Traeger grill has to be its ability to maintain a desired temperature for hours or even overnight. With the digital controller, you simply set the desired temperature. The temperature sensor inside the grill communicates directly with the auger system to deliver the right amount of wood pellets into the fire pot. When the temperature begins to drop below the desired range, the auger will automatically feed more wood to bring the temperature back into the proper range. The operating temperature inside the Traeger barbecue is monitored by an RTD probe or resistance temperature detector and appears on a bright red LED display. You need proper airflow to operate your grill like a convection oven, providing even heating for your food. The fan operates as long as the Traeger is turned on, blowing air directly into the fire pot and then circulating the heat and smoke evenly throughout the grill. This ensures a consistent temperature in the cooking chamber and essentially allows your Traeger grill to function like a wood-fired oven. For simple cleanup, just cover the drip pan with aluminum foil. This makes cleaning your grease pan as simple as replacing the foil, saving both time and hassles. Now that you have a little knowledge about the Traeger Pellet Barbecue Grill, there's no excuse not to get out there and win the battle of plain cooking. Turn those basic store-bought meats into something special. Smoke a large pizza like never before. Even bake cookies when you're done with the meal. The opportunities are endless. To learn more about the Traeger Grill or to find out how to purchase one in your area, go to TraegerGrills.com.
Hello, my name is Grant McNary. I'm with Bushel in a Basket. I wanted to give you a review on a smoker that I bought. It's actually a smoker grill. It's from Traeger. It's a uh, 400 and 18 square inch smoker grill. Inside it, as you can see, it catches all the juices. The juices flow down into this little reservoir here and they come out of the bucket. Smoke comes out of the stack, and if you hear, you may be able to hear inside here, it's got a fan in here, and as the fan is running, it's circulating the temp or keeping the temperature consistent. This is a little uh, little Texan Elite. What I like about it, it has rollers in on it. So if you need to move it, it's easy to move. It also comes with a cookbook, and inside the cookbook, it has how-to's. Some of the things it has in there is it addresses uh, recipes on beef. This specific one is barbecued Korean beef or beef roast. You can go to the pork section and we got barbecue bobs, country ribs, and a giant whole hog. Does seafood. Make my day salmon rainbow trout with sage and lemon and again there's more recipes in there and also on vegetables and then the last one is on baked goods it's got a really nice recipe book it comes with the Traeger when you buy it it also has a hopper in this hopper you put these pellets now you have to make sure you buy the Traeger pellets because if you buy regular pellets that you might use in a wood stove there's glue that's used inside that. Uh, you don't want to do that. It will make your food taste really bad. It's not good for you. These particular uh, pellets I have in here are mesquite. Um, there are multiple flavors to choose from. This bag here is my mesquite. You have an onion, garlic, hickory, mesquite. This particular one's an alder. You got apple, maple, pecan, cherry, and oak. And this bag right here is hickory. Um, what I like about this, it takes, uh, I would say that about a half a bag will go in there and then another half a bag. And this hopper, uh, depending on what temperature you obviously you cook it at, will probably last you easily 10 hours to 15 hours of cooking time. Another feature it has on here, it has a thermostat control right here. Right now it says it's 200 and about, what, 58 degrees. And on the hopper, on the thermostat there, it's about 252 degrees. Now, this is in a smoke stage. If you decide you want to grill, which is the other part I like about it, is all you have to do is turn this. And I'm on the grill section now. And now it's got a uh, little arbor inside that's feeding these pellets. It'll shoot it right down in there. There's a little uh, little uh, box down there where the arbor drops them. And here in a couple seconds, you might actually start seeing the smoke uh, come out of there. Um, again, if you, if you like to smoke, they have a whole bunch of different sizes. There's the little giant. This is a little giant elite. And they got the big Texan. Um, and so go ahead and check them out. And actually, I, I misspoke. They're not little giants. <laughs> That's a ladder. Um, they're Texan, little Texan, elite uh, Texan, and then the big Texan. Um, that would be um, a good opportunity if you're looking for a smoker to go check things out. Um, I highly recommend it. I love it. And this is Grant with Bush in the Basket, helping you grow fruits and vegetables naturally. And feel free to visit our website at bushelinabasket.com If you've ever had your cookouts ruined by food that's been burnt to a crisp on the outside, raw on the inside, it's time you learned about the remarkable Traeger Wood Pellet Grill. Hi, I'm Bruce Bjorkman, Mr. Barbecue, author of The Great Barbecue Companion, former competition barbecue chef, and the host of the year-round radio show, Cooking Outdoors with Mr. Barbecue in Portland, Oregon, here to introduce you to the remarkable Traeger Wood Pellet Grill. 
Introduced more than 20 years ago, today Traeger wood pellet grills are being used in backyards all across America by outdoor cooks who truly taste the difference cooking with this remarkable wood pellet grill. It kind of melts in your mouth and it's almost, you don't even need to add anything else with it. Just the, the pellets, the way the pellets flavor the meat on the, on the barbecue or the vegetables or whatever you choose to put on your barbecue, it's uh, just excellent all the way around. We used to have uh, separate smoker for fish and the sausage that we do at home and uh, we've uh, played with all different kinds of barbecues and now we have one unit, our Traeger grill. We can smoke fish, uh, smoke our own homemade sausage and uh, cook a, a big barbecue for a crowd. In my neighborhood, Traeger is a verb. If, if, seriously, if they find out I've got some steaks, they always say, oh, are you gonna Traeger them? You know, and, and the, the, the smoke smell draws them like moths to a flame anyway. So, you know, if, if nothing else, I'm more popular in the neighborhood. The secret is Traeger's patented indirect cooking system, which uses 100% all natural hardwood barbecue pellets which add both fuel and flavor to what you cook. The Traeger grill gives you a truer sense of your meat, a truer flavors of your meat mixed with a little bit of smoke as opposed to a gas grill where you have, don't have the control of your heat and it always has a little bit of a charcoal flavor. The flavor that you get from that wood smoke, just it's the best thing I've ever had. Because you're cooking with real wood, Food takes on that wonderful campfire flavor that we've all come to enjoy. Plus, you're cooking with an all-natural fuel, which is healthier than cooking with either gas or charcoal. Traeger has 10 different varieties of wood pellets to cook with. Oak and hickory and cherry and apple, and I've become a mad scientist with those things. You know, different combinations, a little cherry, a little apple, a little, you know, little, uh, little this, a little that. It's great. Pour the wood pellets into the hopper. Turn on the grill. The auger automatically moves the pellets from the hopper to the fire pot inside the cooking chamber. There, a hot rod activates for approximately three minutes. As the pellets burn, heat and smoke surround the food, resulting in fantastic taste. Drippings are channeled out of the cooking chamber into an external grease bucket for easy disposal. The three position cook mode switch provides the ultimate in cooking versatility, allowing you to smoke, barbecue, grill, even bake all in one appliance. I like the versatility. I cook a lot of chicken, a lot of pork, uh, pork and beef ribs, uh, salmon, halibut, and uh, pizza. You can bake things on the grill like you would in an oven. I've burnt cookies in my oven many, many times, but I have, I have never burnt anything on the Traeger. I cook everything on it. I don't even use the oven anymore. I'll, I'll put a meatloaf on there, uh, sausages, hamburgers, steak, you name it. The Traeger is handcrafted in America, in Mount Angel, Oregon. In fact, it's one of the last barbecue grills that's still produced in America. Made of heavy gauge steel for years of outdoor cooking enjoyment. I'd like a new one, but there's nothing wrong with the old one, so we just keep using the old one. We're on our second one, so it's probably been about 15 years. It's built like a tank. Believe me, this is one grill that'll spoil both you and your taste buds and you'll be cooking a lot more safely than either gas or charcoal grills. And talk about versatile, you can bake, grill, barbecue, even roast on a Traeger wood pellet grill. And everything that comes off of it tastes absolutely delicious. The flavor is all the way through the meat. It's not just the barbecue rub or the barbecue sauce that you're applying at the end of the process. It is in every bite that you take. We actually at our business have a couple of the commercial models and we feed our employees, which is about 200 people, four times a year off of the grills. And they just think it's wonderful. You have a choice to make. You can continue to put up with burnt, tasteless food cooked on a gas or charcoal grill, or you can do what all these people have done and step up to a safer, easier, more flavorful way to cook with a Traeger wood pellet grill. Believe me, when you step up to a Traeger, you're definitely going to taste the difference. Absolutely the best. Uh, I, I wouldn't go back if you paid me money to go something else.
My name is Ben Forbes and I'm here to talk to you about Traeger grills and why you pick a Traeger over any other grill options you may have, whether that be a charcoal grill or a propane grill. First thing we're going to start off with is flavor. Why flavor? Because that's the most important part of grilling. You want that complex, deep flavor. You don't want someone to come over and say, hey, that hamburger, yeah, it was alright, probably do better. No, you want them to say, wow, how'd you do that? that the flavor was just... It was so tender and succulent and just had all this flavor. How, how'd you do that? The answer you want to have is through a Traeger grill. Why a Traeger grill? Because it's wood burning. Why does wood burning help? Because it adds to the flavor. It doesn't take away from that flavor. Traeger offers you eight different pellets, varying in flavors, so that you can get any kind of flavor that you like from your meats. Traeger also allows you to grill, barbecue, smoke, braise, even bake. What more could you want? You, you have all these different options, whether that be making smoked salmon, whether that be making a, a delicious hamburger, or, or maybe it's making a, a fire roasted pizza. That's excellent. You don't get that option with many other grills. And you also don't get those complex flavors. The other thing about Traeger grills is they're super easy, they're super simple, they make everything easy and convenient. All you do is you put in your pellets, turn on the auto start, set your temperature to the desired temperature, put your food in, close the lid, head out, relax, do whatever. You don't have to worry about flare-ups because the grease goes into a different compartment away from the cooking chamber, so you never have to babysit the grill which allows you to get back to your friends and family, get back to that game, get back to what really matters. Great tasting food with a Traeger grill.
Honey, what's for lunch? I'm making uh, grilled cheese for the kids for lunch. Do you want one? You know, if you don't like what I'm making, you're welcome to do the cooking around here. Mom, why don't I get Dad that Traeger grill he's been wanting? Hmm. So why do I love my Traeger? Cause that makes Daddy happy. And if Daddy's happy, we're all happy! Woo! Shelby and she brought her Traeger. On my Traeger, I have potatoes. It don't cook anything from meat to potatoes. And they are delicious. And then I invited Gus and he brought his Traeger. I have whole chicken, put it on in the morning, get it when it's at night. And this guy on the end, I don't know who he is, he just showed up, but he had a Traeger, so I invited him. I brought my professional series, which is why they let me stay. And I've got a couple set of ribs here with the baby back. Thank you. 